All right, we're bringing back our What's Good on Good Day segment where we share good news to help brighten your morning. An elementary school student in New York has been recognized for saving a classmate's life. David Diaz Jr. is a second grade student in Binghamton, New York. He jumped right into action when his friends started choking at lunchtime by performing the Heimlich maneuver. Well, it ended up saving the boy's life. Here you can see David holding up the New York State Commendation Award for his heroic actions. When David was asked where he learned to do it, well, his answer was the good doctor. Great job, David. Way to step up in such a huge way. On to a story about a man's best four-legged friend and now hero. A 53-year-old man and his dog, Saul, were hiking a remote section of the Tahoe National Forest in Nevada County when the man fell down a 70-foot cliff. Well, he broke a hip and some ribs, but still managed to find a cell signal and call for help. Rescuers used the man's GPS signal to narrow down his location, but still couldn't find him. A group of searchers say Saul ran up to them, jumping up and down and spinning in circles before leading them 200 yards away to his owner's location. The hiker was then airlifted to safety, and Saul, well, he was rewarded with a big dinner and a bunch of treats. Pretty neat story here. A previously unknown self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh has been found. The gallery says art conservators discovered it when they took an x-ray of van Gogh's head of a peasant woman painting. The self-portrait is believed to have been covered by layers of glue and cardboard when it was framed in the early 20th century. Experts said the bearded subject was instantly recognizable as the artist himself. The painting is thought to be from his early work, they can tell because the left ear is clearly visible and Van Gogh famously cut off his ear in 1888. All right, back here at home, check this out. Cedar Park police loading the van for roughly a thousand new backpacks and school supplies. They were sent to the Texas Advocacy Project for their backpacks for Hope Drive. That was yesterday. The new backpacks and school supplies will go to children in domestic violence shelters across the state. And we want to know the good news happening right here in Central Texas. So email us at KTBCnews at Fox.com or tag me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter at Jane on Fox 7.